Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on. For a special day today, we have our sub battle day. This is the second one that we're going to have up on the YouTube channel. It's the first one with just me at the helm. Uh, last time, I guess it was last weekend, uh, we had Boot to the Head. Also, my friend David was here with us. So it's just me by myself against team chat today. So all day, uh, I'm going to be playing against subscribers. Uh, this is an event that we do whenever we hit 20 of these sub goals over here on the right hand side. We add them up and then we set a, set a day aside uh, for this sub battle day. And it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, everybody in chat. Um, hey, what's up, Robbie? Everybody in chat uh, <clears throat> bands together and tries to take me down. And it's it's just a good, a good uh, clean time. So I'm going to be playing different decks each round. I have a wheel that will we're going to spin and figure out what deck I'm playing. And we're going to be playing best two out of three challenges with subscribers. <laughs> so far, team chat hasn't taken me down yet. We haven't determined what uh, chat's going to win if chat wins. Uh, maybe like a 12-hour stream the next day or so. I haven't quite determined that one yet. That's that's what that's the that's probably the leader in the clubhouse. Another option people want is like me uh, streaming without a tie for one of these these ones. But anyway, how it works if you are, if you are a subscriber in chat right now um, and you are ready to battle, just type the word battle into the into the Twitch chat here, and we're gonna determine who's going to be the first person to play so you know uh, make sure you have your gamer tag ready the if you if you're going to be the person that, that i'm playing against make sure you send send the gamer tag um exclamation point gamer tag will always will get you mine there and we're doing best two out of three and we'll be spinning the wheel to see what deck we're playing okay <laughs> stream tylus a pajama stream. So yeah, we'll we'll see. I I think I think it's probably the leader in the clubhouse is a twelve hour stream. Uh, all right, let's see who our first opponent is. Well, my first opponent, first representation of team chat, and we got disposable hero. Disposable hero. Um, yeah, I can show you that list real quick. Uh, here we go. That's that list with uh, some watery graves down there also on the bottom. All right, Disposable Hero, I got your gamer tag. Let's spin the wheel, see what deck we are playing. Well, let's see what deck I'm playing. Here we go. We're going with just the black and white wheel this time. I think the colored wheel, a little too flashy. Hero Shock! Go Team Jet! <laughs> Alright, I'm playing Gruel Midrange. That's what I got. So let's check that out. Okay, so we're going to go here, go to Direct Challenge. Make sure you change it to Best of Three. And Gruel Midrange. Just kind of check out this deck. Some of these are Tattled. Let's see if there's anything I want to change. No, this deck looks, looks good. I don't really like this Kiora. I'm going to get a second rhythm back in. No Kiora, two rhythm. All right. Yeah, Chandra's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. So yeah, this is this is a fun day where I just play different decks each round. Chat brings awesome decks to the table each round as well. Got a little bit of an awkward hand here with our mana. I guess I'm going to be going land war off on turn two. Or, I mean, I could just Paradise Druid. Yeah, because it just costs two mana. <laughs> I 
Ooh, Bant Arcbow stuff. Okay. Um... We'll go with the Phoenix. I think my plan here was to play, like, Llanowar Elf plus Coil on the on their elf. All right, let's see what they hit. That's a good card to coil. <laughs> we need to give Todd the wrong advice throughout the night. <laughs> Probably looking for Frilled Mystic. Tulsimer. Rude. Ah. Uh, that'll bounce the token. That's more like it. All right, let's go haste plus a counter. Just do attack out at them. Hmm. This is tough. Um, yeah, heroes, heroes in a great spot. I think Pell Collector is more valuable than Tulsimer. I don't really want to make that trade. I will trade Spellbreaker for both of them. Because Llanowar Elf is quite good. And this pumps up my Pell Collector now. Yeah, I'm still tr I'm still uh, needing to get the chat number one emote for y'all. All right, well that's a really hard card to beat. Oh, Ketra is so good, and that card's awesome. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All right, heroes got me. 
Can't beat that, Oketra. Let's get the Chandra. More coils. Why do my coils look like that? Okay, there we go. Hmm. I actually just kind of want to take out Pell Collectors, honestly. And get this other Shivan Fire in here, too. Alright. <laughs> Alright, Disposal Hero got game one. Yeah, I can do this. So I'm going to be just casting the Lava Coil on turn two on, on like, the Land War Elf, if there is a Land War Elf. I kind of regretted not... I, yeah, I definitely regretted not killing that Land War Elf before the previous turn. Like, ugh, that thing has. Hexproof. If that was Incubation Druid, I would have definitely coiled it. The mana creatures are just so important to our opponent's deck. Hopefully they struggle a little bit more uh, with Phoenix this time. Hero did not struggle with Phoenix last time at all. The Tulsimer end step and then untap. Um. And Teferi bounced the token. Attacking for a lot. So we'll put let's put hero down to three. So even a time like a time wipe next turn and like doesn't save hero because the Phoenix will come back. That's awesome, Rex. Saying the Slesnia Arcbo deck inspired me to put Null Hide Ferox into the Soul Type Flash deck, and it's so good. Yeah, people really struggle against Ferox these days. That's, man, what, like, that's, that was a beating there. Spellbreaker, then Phoenix, then Ronus. Wow. Well, do they have another thing to play? They have to, right? It's just Arcbode for three? There's got to be a Dovin's Veto. It's gotta be Dovin's Veto. So I could Lava Coil and try to win here. Oh, it's Steal Away. I was not expecting Seal Away. And we'll just put the Ronus back in our, in our library instead of being trapped under the Seal Away. Whew! 
Chalk down to one. Yeah, never expect the, Sp the Spanish seal away. All right, on the draw, I definitely I want this other Shivan Fire here on the draw. Most definitely, got to take out mana creatures. Um, as far as what card to take out, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe maybe a rhythm. I think I do like the Chandra. Like their only way to kill Chandra is like attacking it, kind of thing. I think I like Vivian. I got a lot of artifacts and enchantments to destroy. I guess it's a rhythm. Rhythm real good though. When they're trying to like counter a bunch of stuff. Hmm. I think the only like options to take out are Rhythm, Chandra, Vivian. Uh, I th think it's got to be one of those three. I'm not sure which one I want. I mean, Vivian destroys, like, Arcbow and destroys Seal Away and that kind of stuff. And kills Shalai. Yeah, I don't think it's Vivian, so it's either Chandra or Rhythm. All right, I'll go Chandra. The uncounterable and the haste that Rhythm provides is probably going to be pretty valuable. And not to mention the combo with Growth Chamber Guardian with Rhythm. No. Bad Land War Elf. Bad. Ugh. More of those. <laughs> I could have just played 61. Yeah. It's true. This is risky, you know, if they re remove the Growth Chamber Guardian, they can kill the Domri. But Domri makes that Frilled Mystic not do anything, because the, the tick up for Domri makes our creature spells not be able to be countered. Sorry, Growth Chamber Guardian. Not getting much value out of you. Sorry about that. Jeez. Well. Gotta kill that thing. I could have my little 1-1 one, one token block this land war elf. <laughs> no. Hey, what's up, Jay Bowles? Getting that new tie hype. First sub of the day. Kicking us off. <laughs> I 
Thanks, in Christ. Thanks for getting those hype boats in there. And yeah, you beat me to it. Oh, I'm doing really, really good, Eddie. Yeah, doing, doing great. Thanks for asking. Uh, let's see. I guess it is growth chamber guardian time. Was my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. Should be doing that all like second main, but oh well. It's kind of a risky attack here again, because um, again they get rid of Growth Chamber Guardian with like a deputy or whatever, then they can kill Domri. But I don't, I don't like love my like super late game against our opponent's deck. Like you know if they ever find Oketra, it's Oketra is kind of a problem, and I, I think it's just worth it just to get the beats in. No, hero. GG's disposable hero. Yeah, I, I don't think... I'm thinking G, that um, uh, hero had didn't really have much besides... Yeah, you're just sitting on two more frilled mystics? Oh, gosh. So you just had three? Yeah, so Domri's uncounterable part. All right, well, if you want to be the next person to battle, if you want to be up second, and if you are a subscriber, go ahead and type battle into the chat right now. See who is up next for our sub battle stream today. Uh, <clears throat> do y'all so last time uh, I broke it into like three videos for the YouTube channel do y'all think that's better than just having one long you know seven hour video we got anybody else up next anybody else want to battle if so write battle yeah, yeah, make it three different videos. Okay, yeah. Stormy, you getting in there? Type battle if you want in there. All right, let's see. All right, Jay Rockefeller, you are up next. All right, got your gamer tag. It's a pretty good one. All right, let's let the wheel decide what we're playing next. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, Jay Rock. Jay Rockefeller, this will be fun. Ooh, playing Simic. Staying on theme with the mid-range decks. Uh, let's see, wait. Go here. All right, where's our Simic deck? Here it is. All right, so I wanted to try one... Um, what's the name of the card? One Hadana's Climb over a Tamiyo, and then I think I want two Disdainful Strokes and two Brontodons in the board instead of the Ripjaw and the Frilled Mystics. Okay. Hey, what's up, Valoraxial? All right, 
the Oath Keeper. I'll take it. A lot of mana? I'll take it. <laughs> I got the wrong Brontodon. Yeah, the other one is a 9-9. That is quite big. Hey, Guyver. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Alright, so... Jay Rockefeller here said that he's got a real janky one here for us. And did not sound confident in winning. Let's go Incubation Druid to try to have the Bio Essence Hydra next turn. Dr. Random! Returning with that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Dr. Random. Ooh, okay. Gatebreaker Ram. Don't kill my Hydra. Don't kill my Hydra. Uh, no, Dust Puma. I, I do not know who Paul Bettany is. I do not know who that is. Not heard that one. Um, so Big Vivian is just one, one extra loyalty. Let's go, Lil Viv. Because Lil Viv will give the Hydra. I've lost so oh, I, I should have just. Um, lose more. Well, they'll give you the Hydra like a city uh, vigilance. I could have used five mana, activate the druid, and then druid cast Lil Viv. That's one big Hydra. Like. This card is so big. Not so much. Remember when people thought that like Gate Colossus and Gatebreaker Ram were big? Back in the day? No one said this was bigger than both of those combined. And then that's lethal with the 16 there. So even if they block Hydra, even if J. Rockefeller blocks Hydra, this extra one point from the Land of War Elf. Chief Seth saying I'm playing a Tron deck for the first time and 8-1 with it. Way to go, Chief Seth. Way to go. All right, so they got Rams. So we got a gate deck here. Um, I think against gates... I think I want Melody. And I want a bunch of negates. And I don't want Wow Growth Walker. And I'm not sure if the climb is too necessary against gates. Could certainly see playing like Canopy or Brontodon to be able to help kill. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a couple of Brontodons in over a couple of Branch Walkers. I don't think Branch Walker is going to really do very much for us. I'll just get one manipulation here too. Brontodon can kill uh, Guild Summit and the Colossus. One's pretty slow. I can keep it though. 
We get to counter uh, Guild Summit on turn three, and we get to draw other things to play, like Brontodon. Oh no, it's Ram on three. No. I didn't have Ram covered. Aw, oh, thanks, Dust Puma. Is it another Ram? Okay, a summit. I can kill that. All right, let's have Lebrontodon dunk on this summit. But the problem is, is I can't really Druid plus negate. There's a problem. Okay, so I'm just gonna have negate. Hey, welcome back, Dutch. Three months down. Thanks for the content and keep up the hard work. All right, we're gonna have to just get lucky of drawing some kind of planeswalker here. Thanks, Dutch. Sub number four on the day. What is this, Wanderer? You my path. Pray, time to meet your breaker. We'll game. All right, turn three, Ram. Still good. I was way too slow for that. Wanderer, huh? All right, got to keep a hand with one of my eight mana accelerants. Ooh, we got mana accelerants. We can have big Vivi on turn three, potentially. I, I agree. Quote me if I'm if gifted sub. It's always good staying positive, not putting other people down. You need to do this to hit mana, hit lands. Basically, no Nissa. Wilds like I do. While Nissa would make like a really big crisis like another turn, I am like I don't want to make. Three threes with Nissa because I'm worried about Gates of Blaze like killing my things. Come to me. Yeah, I'm just playing this. Shouldn't it, you know, auto tap tap to the land world. I should have tapped the druid because the land world could have hit for one. Do I need to kill Guild Summit? Witness the ties that bind us all. 
Probably should. Draw and fire. <sighs> Not dead yet. Rise, my elemental friend. Oh, if I would have just ticked Vivian up, it was... Oh, man, I, I miscounted. Yeah, I miscounted by one. I thought I thought we were putting... Uh, I just miscounted there. I thought we were, I was putting uh, Oath Keeper down to two with that. I guess I think I just missed the land war elf or missed the bio... I missed one of those things. I thought it was going... I thought they were going down to two. So, yeah, I could have had lethal. Oh, well. So, what was that last card? Command? No, it wasn't. Was that Command the Dreadhorde? Yeah, it was Command the Dreadhorde, right? Yeah, or if I would have swung with the Land War Elf earlier. So, yeah, that, that one extra point did end up mattering. But we saw how big... Man, Biosense Hydra is just so big. So big. <clears throat> GG's, J. Rockefeller. GG's. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you are a subscriber and you'd like to be the next person to battle, uh, go ahead and click battle here. It's for subscribers only. T Let's see who's up. So you're playing Gates with Wanderer plus Command. Okay, so you had that combo. Yeah, we saw Wanderer game, game two and then... Yeah, so command the dread horde. So that would just put all planeswalkers and creatures into like in all graveyards into play under your control, right? Uh, especially, and then with the wander out, you don't take any damage at all. That's awesome. Have you been able to pull off that combo? Okay, everybody in here? All the subs that want to be next in here? Nice. Did it versus for mid range multiple times? All right, who we got? Oslin. All right, Oslin, send me your gamer tag. And I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel, see what deck we have next. I'm off to a 2 0 start, but we played two of my, two of like my favorite decks, two of like the two of you know like the better decks here on the wheel. So, <laughs> yeah, coming out hot, hot out of the gates. <laughs> Get it? Hot out of the gates. Now, now we're in. Now we're in there. Five color reborn time. Ah, need to go this way. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Let's see. Uh. Gamer tech. There you go. Uh. Copy paste that. All right, five color reborn. This deck is sweet. If you're unfamiliar with this deck, here you go. <laughs> this is a crazy one. <laughs> Can't lose. I mean, look at how many look how many like rares and mythics we have in this deck. How could we lose? Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Yeah, today's sub battle stream. Sub battle stream day. Bum, bum, bum. Love it. We got Discovery on turn two, and we can cast Discovery. Oh no. We go Blood Crypt so I can have uh, Cliff Top Retreat next turn. So we can start getting the white mana going for Kaya's Wrath. This is looking pretty aggressive here. 
That may not be good for my five color deck. All right, we need the other white source. So we'll keep the Glacial Fortress. Discovery is so good, being able to be cast off any blue or any black mana really helps us out. I don't think I'm going to pay two life to Mortify, but if there's like a, I mean, they'd have to have like Red Source Judith, but if Oslin just plays like a Judith here. Now we got the green mana, we got, we got perfect mana. You can curve Kaya's Wrath into Teferi into Hydroid Crisis. The old Cliff Top Retreat, Watery Grave, Glacial Fortress, Blood Crypt. And then Woodland Cemetery. Hand. Hmm. This isn't a fight you can win. Hurry! Oslin got stuck on two lands, and this is still... Still close. We'll see if... See if I'm dead. Ooh, a spark harvest. Now what? Can I cast that? No. Woodland Cemetery. Keeping me from casting that one. <laughs> down, down. That's really nice of you, Prigor. Got your mythic... Uh, oh, the Kaya upstairs? Oh, no. Get in your mythic boxes and keeping one and giving the other to the owner of the LGS since they didn't get one. That's very nice. Um, I guess we're just playing this. Let's see if we find some life gain. All right, we got our own... So we get a Thought Erasure, a Krasis, an Othakaya, and an Angrass Rampage. Man, niv at Reborn is sweet. The old draw four. Five mana, six, six, flying, trample? No, no trample, but six, six, flyer, draw four. Okay, we're gonna get rid of I have to discard three cards. Let's discard the rampage. The a discovery. And I guess one of the godless shines. I think we're dead with Ozan saying good game like that. Or no, maybe not. Ooh. That is big game. That is big game. I'll let the crisis die. We got, you know, backup and everything. But gain 10. Um... 
get that in play. And Thought Erasure. Yeah, so as I was saying, good game that we had it. Or by we had it, I mean, I guess I had it. Since y'all are on team chat. We gotta get our Niv a Tribal in play. Niv Mizzet Tribal. Alright, so I got another Kaya's Wrath, got a couple Othakaya's, another Clarion. Definitely want all of those. We're gonna take out Rampage. Take out. I guess I take out Vraska and Niv Mizzet. There we go, that looks pretty reasonable. Chief Seth making it to silver. Way to go. <laughs> yeah, this is five color nonsense. <laughs> yep. Uh, we didn't do too well with the Jun Devil deck. Um, yeah, it didn't, didn't do super well with it. It had a lot of like cool little synergies in the deck and everything, but uh, the curve was just really high and wasn't quite enough lands and wasn't, wasn't enough like card advantage and stuff. It, and so we didn't do super well with it, but a lot of cool synergies. And like whenever it got going, like it had a really good late game. The cards were very powerful. Uh, I don't think I can keep this. We're going to need that. Oh no, the duress. All right, we got Esper Crisis right now. Discovery is perfect. I don't have red mana for the Niv. I kind of want to keep Niv. I mean, it's, it's Niv Mizzet. The card's awesome. Certainly keeping Kaya's Wrath. Let's do it. Let's keep him. We're not playing a five color Niv Mizzet deck to not keep Niv Mizzet. We can find some red mana somewhere. And Oslin doesn't have much of a clock for us. Okay, okay. I am Sorin Barkov, Lord of Innistrad. Vampirism is a useful trait. Cycle, look for red. Ooh, found red. So we can do green, white, blue, black, red. Yeah. All right. Turn five, Niv Mizzet, the hard way. No no chromatic lantern or nothing. We just got five mana for a six six flyer. And we'll see how many cards we actually draw. The we feed the straw. Ah, uh, only draw two. Yeah, New Soren's a really good design. There's so many good, well-designed Planeswalkers in this set. A lot of the Planeswalkers have, like, one more loyalty than you'd kind of expect. Kind of thing. 
they're all pretty strong. The rare walkers from this, from War of the Spark, that is. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Hmm. Another Soren. Hey, what's up, Johnny Popeye? All right, so I'm going to be casting Dispersal to get rid of the Soren this next turn. Embrace the bloodlust. And I killed the Celebrant last turn instead of killing Tithe Taker because I didn't want Tithe Taker to come back with the Soren. Okay. Clarion will do, but if Oslin attacks us, we're down to four, and then Clarion puts us down to one. I guess I need to tuck the Celebrant. Maybe I tuck Tithe Taker? Then I go to two. I'll just do that. Time is much more malleable. People think. And this is so close. Did they draw Othakaya to kill us? We need to move quickly. What the opponent's playing is what you're playing? Ooh. The Johnny. I That'll gave me some life. If I must. Now do you see the benefits of peace? So what's my favorite wardrobe color for shirts, pants, belt, and shoes? Uh, I like I like brown shoes, brown belt. Um, definitely. And kind of like black pants. No time for a break. And then shirt. I don't know if I have much of a preference on shirt color. There's a lot of different ones I now like, but I definitely you see the benefits of peace. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Definitely starts with brown shoe like matching belt and shoes. Like both like a matching brown. And um I like black pants. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what power ties mean. Oslin, GG's. Sorry about that game one, man. Game one, if, if if you just hit your third land drop, like, ever, we were dead. Just never did. 
Well, I was dead. I mean. Um. I guess I do believe in power ties then. Yeah. I like ties that stand out. Uh, I usually match, so I like, you know, so I like wearing, like, the brown shoes, brown belt that, like, match, like, the same shade of brown, and then I like matching my socks to my tie. So, like, whatever color my sock, my tie is that I wear, then I put on socks that match it. All right, if you are, if you, if you want to be up next with our sub battle here, you have to be a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat if you want to play next. That deck was crazy, man. Uh, we need to play some more five color reborn. That deck's sweet. That deck's so much fun. If you would have oath the crisis, or so if you oath Kaya the crisis, like you attack him with both, I block one, and then you oath the crisis afterwards, and see so you have one creature left. I don't. I don't think you still win with just the one creature. Because then I play the 6-6 six, six the next turn, but then you you had removal spells, so you kill my 6-6, six, six, and you get to hit me again. But that's only two points of damage, and I don't think you get any more damage in after that. Or no, you, you didn't even have the removal spell for this, my 6-6, six, because six. then I played the Deafening Clary on the next turn. All right, well, you can, you, you'll you get it this time, Kurtash. Hey, what's up, Dodger Dog? If you want to get in on the sub battle stream, Dodger Dog, hit bat, type battle into the chat. Bant Legends is on the, is on the wheel. All right, let's see who we're battling. Ah, it's Joyve. I thought it was going to be you for sure, sure Kurtash. Be next time. All right, the Joyvester. Ooh, maybe I'll hit... I got Joyve's Grill Dinosaurs up here. Maybe I'll hit Grill Dinosaurs and we'll have a mirror. That'd be cool. Okay, you want me to give yours to Kurtash? All right. All right, Kurtash, you're in. Joyve is tagging you in. Tagging you in. Wrestling style. Give it, so send me that gamer tag. Here's here's my gamer tag. All right, let's spin the wheel. See what we're playing. The wheel gets smaller each time. Each time, whenever we hit something, oh, it's almost girl dinos. Mardu aristocrats. All right. All right let's see. Let's go here. So Joyve, yeah, you can you can keep on uh, getting in for another time, Joyve, if you want to, you know, keep on hitting, typing in battle there. And of course, thank you very much, Joyve. That's very kind of you. All right, where's Mardu Aristocrats? There you are. So we're gonna add Hero of Precinct One to this deck. instead of Priest of Forgotten Gods, and then play... I think I still want Firebrand. Yeah, I still want Firebrand over the other... the other one. All right, good luck, Kurtash. Over the other one drop, whatever the name of that other one drop is that I can't think of right now. Wow, what a hand. I am getting lucky today. Footlight Fiend. That's the one. <laughs> Sock Demon. No. Kurtash. Not like this.
<laughs> I like Sock Demon more though. Holding on for life. The Butcher. Alright, playing all my things. Not scared of nothing. Ooh, no cry of the carnarium, that's good. Yeah, maybe you should have Hero in the Orzov deck. You know, instead of of course, instead of uh, the other one, Hero is worth it. Sorry, Hero's worse in just the two color deck because you're playing like Tithe Taker and things like that that don't trigger Hero. And you have you have Hunted Witness. You have a lot of cards that don't trigger Hero in, in the two color deck. All right, so Esper, I want Chandra and Grath. I don't want these coils. I'll take these duresses and I'll cut some firebrands. That looks pretty good. Got this one mortify just chilling just in case. No, let's have it to spark. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Um, no, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, Kurtash had to mold a five. I hope that Kurtash gets a real good hand here. Saying they've been missing out on the, the sub battle stream the last few times. And then get it and then just have the mold a five. That's, that's rough. All right, let's have a good game here. Starting with the Bag of Bones. Just want to hit, just want to get my battlefield presence started before I do discard spells and stuff like that. All right, soaring down. In comes the butcher. Hey, what's up, Redgrave? Yeah, that's what I was trying. I was, I was hoping if I move the cards around, maybe Kurtash will choose the wrong one or, or not be able to pick it. Pick the card. Double Mortify and Teferi. Guess I take the Teferi. Also, Staker's rude. Ugh. That's even more rude. So we'll be able to steal Thief next turn with the Angrath. And hit them and get a get a cool spell. Got our Recto Sleeves. Alright, so Midnight Reaper was not the pick. So Kurtash took something over Midnight Reaper. 
What's better than Midnight Reaper in my deck? Maybe a Planeswalker? Maybe like a Chandra? A Gutter Bones? Okay, so so they can Mortify also? Gutter Bones does a good job of attacking Ever my Angrath after I minus. I think I go, sorry, I think I go no attacks because if I, whichever one I attack with, they can hostage take her the other and then kill my Angrath. My Angrath's pretty val valuable. Fire, no steel. Yeah. What? My hair is on fire? <laughs> What's that smell? Oh no, my Soren. No, it's you burning. The fire's out, but the embers burn on. Back and watch it burn. Oh gosh. I don't think. Do I sacrifice stuff? Yeah, I guess I probably should sacrifice something. Um. Two things. Hmm. I was kind of assuming that we'd draw another land here and, you know, still play like a fourth land. Oh no! The undead make great minions. Lord from battle to the grave. Um. I don't think I need the Bantu back. I just decline. I've learned I'll find a use for you later. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Getting Butcher back doesn't kill the Liliana. <laughs> yeah, the the Mardu deck it, it's in there the de for the deck list. Um, I did change. I did put in four. Um, I did change out. I took out Priest of Forgotten Gods and put in uh, Hero Precinct 1. That was the one change that I made just a little bit ago. So, assuming this card is a blank... Let me just try doing this first, see if this resolves and everything before I deal with Chandra. Alright, their card was not a blank. That's slightly annoying. You'll pay for that. There, if it was a blank, I think I would have won there, but it was not. This is 
going to be bad for you. Uh, plural, somewhere in... It's in the, the Stream Decker page there. Oh no, my Chandra! It's definitely considering just minus seving the Chandra and just killing the Liliana. Oh wow, that's a great card. That's a good card. Alright, let's get rid of this. Death news. Time to go. Let's play this. <laughs> Time for a drink. Well, the minus seven didn't do anything except for just seven damage. You need to slow down. I'm assuming these are going to trade. And unfortunately, Cruel Celebrant makes them just lose life. It's not Judith where it deals a damage somewhere. Hmm. Need to tap a little better. Keep up I know, Storm, what do you mean? What's going on? But yeah, uh, Leo's era, remember I replaced, I put in Hero Precinct 1s over uh, that whatever other card I took out. Um... Oh, right. That's not going to kill the deputy still. Hold that thought. Priest, right. That was the card. Ah, this is a hero deck. I've got it. No, my Soren. Soren could have ticked up and killed that Teferi. The hero mirror. Gonna try to kill Teferi. Only All right, time Teferi out of here. That's more like it. All right, going upstairs. Each creature that dies gets a couple triggers. This one doesn't get the non-token. That one gets tokens. How many triggers do I get? Uh, one, two, three. No, two, two Judith triggers and three Celebrant triggers.
<laughs> well, that second game was was a really good game. That was a really good game. I probably have four or maybe five. That'd be like my guess, like four or five Taylor Swift songs in like the 650 song playlist. But I guess every every time you tune in, one of them's playing. Uh, Draxia, I am making a Jun deck for tomorrow. That that was a, a donation request I had from uh, somebody who made a movement watch purchase. You see here, uh, if you make a purchase with with a watch, um, you get a free donation deck. And so uh, tomorrow I'm going to be working hard on, before the stream, working hard on trying to make a good John deck. And we're going to be having that. Um, we're going to be having that tomorrow. Yeah, Kurtash, really sorry about that first game there. That's That's rough. Sorry about that first one. Um, having to mulligan to five. All right, if you want to be the next person to battle, and if you are a subscriber, go ahead and type the word battle in. If you want to be the next person. We got team chat needs to step it up here. Um, I've been getting really fortunate, though. Um, oh, I haven't heard of them, Oak and Shade. All right, we got more people in here now, ready to battle. Uh, Long Pig, welcome to the stream. Basically, I'm wearing a tie because this is how I, I like to present myself. I like how I look in a tie, and I, it's comfortable enough. And um, yeah, welcome to the stream. All right, let's see who's up next. We got a lot of people here, ready to go. The Goat Boat. The goat boat. <laughs> All right, goat boat. What is your gamer tag? Here's mine. <laughs> All right, we're going to spin the wheel and see what I'm playing up next. I feel like that's really loud. Sultai control. It's not too loud? Okay. I don't even know how I would change that from... I don't think there's like... It's really... It's like sound is on or off. I don't think there's a, a volume setting on there. It is control, but it is Sultai control. This was the deck that we played yesterday for the first time. I'll just run you know the same list that we streamed with yesterday. Yes, yeah, so this is the deck from yesterday here. It's a pretty sweet one. All right. Okay, we got facing the goat boat. Okay, Bobby. Hmm, one land, not going to be good enough. Shipping that. All right, this is my turn to mulligan to Oblivion now. Nice, Jurgen, what you playing? What are you winning regularly in Platinum these days? <laughs> Mulligan to zero incoming. <laughs> Alright, good five card hand. I mean we have good we have three good cards basically. And then we'll maybe cast those later. Um I need land, but I need green land. I'm just gonna keep it. Ah, your own build, okay. 
Uh, this deck list you can find on the Stream Decker page. For the, it was just from yesterday. Um, you can also find the video on the YouTube channel. Those are like the two places to find the decks and everything. So if you check out the YouTube channel, you can, um, you know, look for Sultai Control in the videos, and then the, the deck list is in there. Well, I'm going to take this hero. So this is a Naya Feather deck. That's pretty sweet. Yes, I could play Narset next turn, but I'd rather look for land. <laughs> no, Kurtash, you should not... No, you should not... Uh, you should not feel bad about wanting me to... Uh, mulligan to zero. It's okay. You can be on team chat for today. All right, Eisenf is here to make team chat great again. Hmm. That one will do. You got two gods in the same draft. You got Kefnet and Bantu. That's a pretty good draft. Two mythics, and a command the Dread Horde. Crafting so much fun. So it's constructed. Magic is just so much fun. Yeah, I had a com command the Dreadhorde deck. Uh, Dreadhorde control. Um, I actually just, the last time we played Dread Horde Control, I actually took out the command, the Dread Hordes. <laughs> uh, but it still has, like, Dread Horde Invasion and, and Enter the God Eternals and stuff. Shall always conquer darkness. Yeah, it's a boo. What does this thing do? Deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker? Lame. Hmm. You would make an excellent informant for my study. The storied past holds our future. I don't love where I'm at right now. So my plan for the next turn is the Gross Spiral plus the Tyrant Scorn. And hoping the Goat Boat doesn't have another threat. Oh no. I don't think I have a... No, I don't have a Ritual of Soot in this deck. So I need to just find another Tyrant Scorn, basically. Let me aid your yeah, because I can't cast Enter the God Eternals. But that, I don't know if that would really save me anyway. Just got to hit another one of these. Nope. GG. I think it's okay to use the, the ambush there and kill my Tamio. Put me down to one. Hmm. I'm not as good against, like, bigger creature decks here with just the one ritual of set. More Cry of the Carnarium, more going towards, like, mono red and mono white. Um, yeah, I don't have much to bring in. I basically just have the one ritual of set to bring in. I can take out the Narset. Maybe I'm supposed to be going with a little bit more duress and gate? No. No. No, this is my deck. 
All right, welcome back, Storm. <laughs> Build a deck with zero sanity so it counters Thief. <laughs> There's no sanity for the Thief to take. <laughs> Okay, what do we got? Ooh, that's a good hand. Card two. Uh, I think. Ugh, ugh. I don't like this Domri. I don't like this Phoenix. Both Domri and Phoenix look kind of tough. I'm going to take the Domri. A little farther away from playing the Phoenix. All right, and if it's if it's Feather this turn now, because of. That girl's probably, I guess I still need to draw a land. I don't have Enter the God Eternals next turn. Uh, but they need to draw a white source. Only have one white source right now. Goat Boat's deck looks pretty sweet. I like this deck. Ooh, Ollie's Raptors. I'm not expecting that card. Yeah, Naya Hero Feather. Just business as usual. Oh, I wish you could see your face while I'm beating you. Yeah, I think Bobby's got me here. Coming back. Oh no. All right, coming back. That was a just a clutch draw for me, especially second. Uh, green source also, so now just any land will let me cast this Casualties of War. We got I got the two black, two green. Still can't beat a Phoenix. I need Contempt to deal with the Phoenix. And Collision Colossus is plus four, plus two. So that would give the Raptor enough toughness to get through the four, four. 
I wish you could see your face when I've beaten you. I think if I'm GoBot on this turn, I just attack with the Raptor first and see if I block or not. Um, and then if I block, you use, you use Collision and then play Feather. If I don't block, uh, if I don't block, then you can just play Rekindling Phoenix. Wait, is this any creature? Oh, I thought I had to target Feather. Hmm. Hey, Pete. Really wish I had more ritual assets in this deck. Right about now. Yeah, this game is very complex. This is uh, Magic the Gathering. We're playing on a program called Magic Arena. Is that... I don't know if this is actually a command. I don't know. Hey, there you go. I saw some report that recently like ranked like card games by complexity and stuff and and Magic ended up being the most complex card game in the world. All right, so what's the plan here? So my plan for next turn is pretty obvious of like kill Feather and Domri with the casualties of war and a land. I hope I can double block this Wally's Raptor. But if Domri has Feather Fight, then I'm just chumping. When okay. I'm finished here, there'll be nothing left but dust. So now I'm chumping and staying at four. And I'm dead to the Collision Colossus. But still going to cast this Casualties of War on my way out. On my way out the door. And the Goat Boat will be victorious here. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want.
As long as he sees it. There we go. And I'm blowing up. All right, team chat on the board, four and one. GG's, go boat. You're on the board. The comeback is the comeback is starting here. GG's. Okay, uh, two hours in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, pauses for the second video. So I'm going to end this first YouTube video here. Uh, so if you're watching this on YouTube, I hope you're enjoying it and click on over. This is part one of the sub battle stream. So click on over to part two to see the continued comeback from team chat. See you there right now. Click over there.